Hello everyone, this is um, the uh, third tutorial in my channel and uh, I'm gonna show you now how to make mountains but keep in mind that um, my explanations are not the best and there will not be any subtitles, I'll not be editing this video hopefully I won't need to <coughs> so let's get started now after you get your uh, road and your scenery I'm not gonna do anything except for just show you the ta uh, technique of making a mountain so firstly the easiest way is by Bezier patch I hope you know how that works just make it bigger if you want to make your mountain big you search for some ground I'm gonna put grass yeah I like when my content browser is lagging it, it just freezes I'm gonna choose uh, I guess yeah this one uh, mm, let's search for a while actually mm what would we want we want something which actually has a grass uh, I think this is good or actually maybe this one yeah let's do this one so we we'll get our grass and we we'll need to break this to look cooler so <coughs> now I'm gonna choose something like the dirt or actually maybe rock mm -hmm. then there's something like that No, we don't touch the ones on the side, just these four ones in the middle. This, we, we don't touch this because that's the whole um, easier part. And we just lift them up and mm, maybe we'll actually brush the top. Oh, we'll brush the top. Uh, okay, what is happening? Oh, uh, I don't know, I just mix the brushes. That's not what we want. Yeah. We don't want to mix more than two brushes. Not more than two. Not three, not four, just two. And maybe it doesn't look that great, but it's, it will do for the tutorial. And now, just open these properties and search for like silver snow. So or just for small, maybe you we'll pick something else that small but it's not this one that I pick so it needs to be small because when a mountain is like the big and the trees look smaller but since we cannot make this very big with normal sized trees we would have to do some like uh, tactic, some trick that the trees will look uh, uh, they will be small so that the mountain can look big when it's far away so. now something else you know, like it's not just one type of vegetation um, would this work? let's see I've never used this one before, to be honest. Um, yeah, it looks fine. Now we just bring it more up, I guess. Now what you can do is like do this. You just don't lift the edges. Just don't lift them. Just can do like this 
Maybe you can bring that one down, this one up to make some kind of shape with this mountain. Something like that. I mean, bezier patches are mostly used for hills, not mountains. Um, but yeah, I think when we move it further away, oh, I don't need to set the distance. Okay, um, yeah, from here, it looks like it's a big mountain. In reality, it's not that big, it's because the trees are small. Uh, maybe if we rotate it to the side, which is like more uh, less steep. Yeah, uh, it's nothing different, but whatever. So, next type of mountain is with terrain items. So, we just pump our terrain. Again, pick our grass. I'm going to choose some grass wild. And. Uh, In a second. Okay, so um, pick our grass wild. It doesn't have to be wild. It's just like I I like these grass wild uh, textures. They look nice most of them. Beat this one. Let's do. Okay. Um, we would have to like click it once and then click this arrow to place it. Now, uh, we have some profile, just search for a regular grid, the one by um, 10 meters for big mountains, or like for medium to small mountains, 10 meters for bigger, 16 meters, so just place that in and make this, um, when it's 10, make it 8, uh, if you're gonna use this uh, other uh, the left size, or, or I mean the left side, um, or like if you're gonna use both sides, just have them the exact same. So we don't want. I uh, actually maybe we could use noise power. Um, depends on. Then with size type twelve meters, if it's, and if you have the sixteen meter one it's gonna be 16 16 and 16 so I'm gonna use the 10 meter one um, now what we need to do is pick our vegetation so again I'm gonna pick the same ones make them the biggest of the scale if they are small if they are big, make them the smallest, so this is the smallest scale, percentages, uh, from 0 to the max, uh, we don't need high poly, and then we pick our second vegetation, actually I like this, I'm gonna keep them, they are smaller, so I'm gonna keep it at uh, this. I meant that they're bigger, so I'm gonna keep them at this. Um, no. Do that. Both sides. And we've got our vegetation. So we're gonna just extend it enough. So we have space for a big mountain. Now we, we click Control H and then Radius. Um, something like it's, uh, 50 would do. Yeah. Oh no, wait. The next step is brushing. So um, the regular grid makes it so that you have squarish uh, vertices. Um, I'm gonna actually make the next power mode. So have squarish vertices no I'm gonna pick uh, another grass wild but it has to be just a different color than this way different 
something that is that like that can be uh like, like you can tell the difference between the two textures so just search for something that matches it but is more different you can tell the difference and something that is not ugly as fuck like this one it's just old texture from older DLCs which doesn't look good and can't seem to find something so I'm gonna look like that be to pick faster maybe this would work uh, no it would not Okay, uh, oh, I gotta do this actually, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I think this is good for me. You do, uh, you click on custom, you tap like some big number, and then you pick 15, select the one side and the second side. If your uh, vertices have mismatch, like here, then you probably gotta fix it manually, but to not have mismatch. Um, so you pick like some random square on the border, like this one, and then the one on the other terrain item. Because you know it's um, it has two sides. And now we need to speed the maximum, which is 20. Smoothness doesn't matter, and radius is how big you want the circle to be. I'm sure you're gonna make it bigger. So you see the controls here. I'm not gonna explain them, just read them while the tutorial, um, like while I am sculpting the mountain with the height tool. We've got our general shape of the mountain, as you can see. Um, it looks solid, let's say it looks nice. But maybe we need more, and by more I mean more, uh, more, uh, more variety. So maybe you want a snowy cap or a a rocky maybe one rocks in the mountain so if you I hopefully um, I, I'm, I'm hoping that you know how how brushes work and that you cannot mix three brushes in so let's choose for example this one as you can see there is grass there is this desert brush and then there is this uh, this uh, other mountain brush and as you can see the place where they're about the, the three of them are supposed to mix they just don't mix it it happens like for example you uh, hold out to hard brush edge it looks something like that so you cannot mix three brushes and if you want to i mean you can but if you want to add a, a brush on this mountain uh, let's choose some Rock, um, like this one. You just have to brush it on top of the this brown or the grass or the green grass brush. You can't just brush it between the two of them. It would, it would be mixing. Like, look, doesn't work. And this is the border between the two uh, terrain items. So like, it's one, but between the two sides. So it would still be a hard brush and we don't want that because it doesn't look that good um, 
and maybe you'd want to remove the vegetation from the rocks because in real life uh, at least I personally haven't seen trees on top of rocks maybe you have but uh, I, I at least haven't so maybe you want it more pointy Oops. and there you go you have yourself a mountain maybe you can like use the shift and mouse button to just taste a little bit and you've got yourself a mountain uh, hopefully this tutorial was useful to you yes I guess that comparison what you can do with a bezier patch and what you can do with terrain item bezier patch is mostly for small hills this is for actual mountains so yeah and just like subscribe and see you next time